So it's been three days now since I made the video of me getting the noxious staff and I asked you guys to answer a straw poll in the description about if I should use the barrows die on the staff. And well, you can see the results on the screen, it does look like we're going to be using it and also I just want to say 186 votes is pretty cool to have, like it's pretty cool engagement and I do really appreciate that you guys took the time to answer this and for sure I'm going to honor my claims and we're going to be uh, dying the noxious staff. So if you have no idea when I got my Barrows die, it was actually super early into my account. I just checked back and it was about one year ago. So I've had the Barrows die in my bank for about one year and I got it on episode number 12. And at this time, I was really, really new to the Iron Man because I made videos like once every two days or something because there was so much to do. So about one month-ish into the series, I got the Barrows die. And when I did get it, if you guys were here for that long, that's pretty incredible. But if you were, you remember that my my reaction was really weird like I wasn't happy it was like oh shit I got a barrels die that's cool I guess but the thing was I just didn't feel like I deserved it because uh, when I got my ranger boots even earlier than that I had like the sickest reaction I was so happy that I got ranger boots and the reason to that was because I was like okay that's really cool but it's not like at a super beneficial item or like something that doesn't you know uh, most Iron Man that's done Iron Man for a long time has ranger boots it's not like a super mega rare thing you know but Barrows die or dies overall is like one of those things that you can play Iron Man for a super long time and not get. You can grind it for such a long time and just never be able to get it because you just don't have the luck to get it. And when I got it so early, I was like, I don't deserve this. Like, it's such a big item. It's not beneficial overall for the account, I guess, for progress-wise. But it's just such a cool item and such a rare item that like very very few Iron Man can get their hands on and so me getting it on like clue number 10 or something just I just felt like I cheated everyone else who put so much in time into Iron Man mode but now that I do have it and I've had it for a year in the bank it actually does feel very good to be able to use it and I'm going to be using it on the noxious staff that you guys wanted me to use it on and it's my first tier 90 so it's pretty cool to put something on that as well so let's do that and I've never done this before and so let's see what it says so if you do this the item you change will not be able to be traded well that doesn't matter um, if you will use it uh, on the die yeah you will not be able to clean it to make it tradable and will not be able to recover the die so all the, all of this was kind of obvious I can't try to not trade the noxious stuff anyway so it doesn't really matter so yes oh by the way maybe we should do this so it looks like this before I put the die on so let's remove it real quick and then put the die on and let's do this shit and let's see how it looks afterwards. So you've now, now died the item, it's no longer tradable, never was really tradable because I'm an Iron Man. Alright, Noxious Staff Barrows, let's see how this looks. Alright, that actually looks really cool. Whoa, the particles on this shit became so much bigger. What the hell? Alright, so the changes were... Oh wait, the staff itself, like the handle as well, turned way darker, like brownish or... I don't know what you could call that color, I'm not sure, like greenish a bit, like dark green. And then the um, the top of it as well was red and now it's uh, kind of white, greenish as well. And the glow was super, super light green and now it's dark green. And I'm actually very happy, I think it looks really good. Uh, a lot of people said you should use it on the scythe and some people said do not ever use it on the noxious bow. And I would agree that both of those are pretty n good clear. Uh, the Noxious Bow looks nothing different, like it's it looks pretty much exactly like the normal Noxious Bow. So even if I would get the Noxious Bow before the staff, I would not use the die on it. And then if I did get the Scythe before I get the staff, I would use it on the Scythe, if you guys wanted me to do that. But I'm actually very happy to be able to use it on the staff, I think the staff is pretty much the second best. And if I do get another die in the future, I for sure will save it for the Scythe, or any higher tier weapons in the future. But this is going to be it for this video, just a short video of me using the die. It's a very huge thing of course and that's why I wanted to make it a separate video. I've been waiting pretty much a year to be able to do this and I'm very happy with me finally being able to use it. So uh, just a quick shout out as well. I guess this is a good time to do it to my friend chat if you want to join. The friend chat is alone some and we're uh, quite some people here having a good time. There's been a lot of cool p uh, discussions lately in the friend chat so keep that up guys. It's really cool to see. And anyways, Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next uh, Iron Man video most likely.